YouTube is your boss, fool. Now, let's talk some business. Now, this right, this is for, um, this ain't no diss. I'm not trying to diss nobody or nothing on this. This ain't no hate. We, we got to talk business right now. We got to talk business and we got to talk facts, all right? Because that's the problem. We're not, we not dealing with information, man. A lot of niggas be running their fucking mouth talking dumb shit. And it really shows that they don't know business. They don't know what it's really about. So I'm going to tell y'all, let's get into it. YouTube is your boss. I'm going to tell you like this. Until you can take your brand, your name, your LLC, your company. Until you can take that same name and get the same or almost the close same percentage of following on all networks, your brand is big as you think it is. Meaning, if you got over 100,000 on subscribers, you should be able to tell your, your subscribers today, tomorrow, or next week, I'm going to iHeartRadio, and I want y'all to all come holler at me and, and, and follow. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to take that and transfer it to any other network and get a bag. I'm giving you niggas tips. For all you niggas that's in position, that say you that big, that got a lot of subscribers, why you not expanding your brand on other networks? And why, even though you're on YouTube with a lot of followers and a lot of influence, you still got somebody telling you what you can and can't say and things of that nature? Because YouTube is your boss. That's why. This is their platform. So if this is their platform, that means we are their workers. Or they the ones that set up the racetrack so we can run on the track. You dig? That's why when you get them super chats, who get that percentage off the top? You ain't got no say so on how much they get, none of that. So are you really a boss like you say you are? Or do you work for YouTube? You got to understand what's going on. Yeah, niggas get donations. But donations is not a check in your name. Donations does not show that your company is expanding because you cannot do quarterly percentage records on that. Just because you get donations and handouts and people pat you on the back does not mean your brand is becoming successful because actually what you're doing is becoming a worker. You becoming a limited worker. I'm talking about some of you niggas. The niggas that got to get on YouTube every day and got to put out content or they won't eat. You work for YouTube. That's y'all niggas. And you still didn't learn how to take your brand. And, and, and you ain't even, you can't get a dollar off iTunes. That's my point. If you, if you had a podcast on iTunes, I'm talking about some of you niggas. If you had a podcast right now on iTunes, iHeart, nobody would download your shit. And you could have, you might got a quarter million on, on, on YouTube right now. A hundred down YouTube. But if you same niggas took that rhetoric, that shit you be talking, and you went on and try to start your own podcast, like some of you niggas did and failed. Nobody gonna listen to you. Nobody's gonna sit there and listen to somebody ramble about nothing for an hour, two hours. So is your brand as big as you really think it is? No. When your brand is, is at a certain level, people wanna do business with you. They wanna cut you checks because you got influence. It's all about influence. So I'm trying to tell you niggas, a lot of you niggas been in position. Your company's been established, but your shit ain't growing. So basically what I'm saying, if I was on my accountant shit and we went to the books of your company, we really would see that your company ain't really doing nothing. Because donations don't, 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 donations don't express how your company is generating revenue. You dig? A lot of you niggas' companies don't generate revenue. I'm talking about the LLC niggas. The niggas that want to be great niggas one day off of YouTube. So I'm telling niggas, when you build your brand, make your brand universal. Make it a brand that you can take anywhere you go. Make it a brand that you can get a bag from anywhere or you might can get a deal almost anywhere. Make your brand swift and changeable. You dig? And have full control of your brand. Because a lot of these niggas, they talk about how big their brand they are, is, but they got to still be scared of algorithms. And they got to still be scared on how they say and move around. And that's how they get their money. But who, what type of boss get money like that? What type of boss got to watch what he say and do and how he promote his brand? 
A lot of these niggas are workers. That's why you'll see once they get that plaque, some of them get big headed, some of them get real comfortable. And then some of them in their mind even start working for YouTube. Them the niggas that start trying to tell on you. Them the niggas that start feeling like they got to always be in the know how how YouTube work. And they know the ins and the outs. But these are the same niggas that got that plaque and they felt like they made it. And they got locked in. They got locked into a position. So basically what I'm saying, the niggas that can't build a brand are like the niggas that master give, a, give some extra to. And he feel a little special. He feel like he did something. Yes, sir, boss. I did a, you did a good job, boy. Those are them niggas. The niggas with the YouTube plaques that can't really grow off of YouTube. The ones that can't take their brand, expand it worldwide. Like, they can't have niggas from 50 states listening to them. They can't have people from around the world listening to them. I'm not talking about just on YouTube. I'm talking about when you can take that same bag and transition it over to many different areas. That's when you have a brand. Until, you, until your brand is at that level, you're not a household name like you think you are. You still got work to do, and YouTube is still your boss. And if you don't have no money coming in your company name that you take to the bank and put in your company account, nigga, you're not as big as you think you are, and your brand is not as lit as you think it is. So let's get it. Let's not get it confused. Just because you got niggas looking at you on YouTube, YouTube is not your platform. You dig? People fuck with YouTube because they fuck with YouTube. People don't fuck with YouTube because they fuck with you. Just understand that. YouTube is its own brand. And as long as you niggas is putting all your energy into it, you in business with YouTube. Yes, you are in business with YouTube. But they run the show. And you're not a boss like you think you are. All right?